Hi guys and welcome to my review of Haikyuu chapter 293 and 294, is that where we're at? Oh my god, I don't remember and I lost it. Yeah, okay, <laughs> 93 and 94. <sighs> These chapters were really good. I just read both of them. Um, and I, I'm really happy that we got the, the origins of, uh, where the, the, the anticipation for the battle of the trash heap began. So with young, uh, coach Ukai and young coach Dekomata, that was just, that was really great to see that. Um, just, I, I really, really like that. It, it started off again with just the training matches and they lived in the same prefecture and then Nekomata... He moved to Tokyo and they were like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna meet here. And then they met and they never, they both lost their first matches and couldn't even, because um, where they were with the brackets, they had to re meet at the finals if they were to fight against each other. And they promised to meet next time. They never advanced again. And it was just, it was very sad. And they became coaches and they just never got that far. Um, and now where it's only one of them left coaching, but the other has his grandson there coaching instead. It's just, whew. It's uh, it it's really really wonderful to see that story. Like, and it's really nice for them to be like, yeah, well, may this may have been something that we have wanted all this time, but it's, it's not just us pushing our dreams and hopes onto them. It, they have their own story. They have their own connection. These two teams that are fighting right now. So, I, I really really like that story there. Um, it was a really good way to set off this very anticipated match. Um. I'm gonna say now I'm rooting for uh, not Karas. No, I'm, I'm rooting for Nekma. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I I said this last time as well. I think um, the third years of the very least of Karas no have achieved what they came to achieve. Um, uh, so I think it would be okay if we lost now. And I I want I basically want Kemba and Kuro to be able to play as much together as possible before uh, Kuro has to graduate. Um, and I just, I, I think that fits better with the story, uh, in my own opinion. Unless the story is to end now, then, then the class, no. but I, I talked about this before, I'm not gonna go down, down the road again. But I really liked, and I really liked the introduction, I said this, this before, especially when the, the art started, I was like, I really love the commentators, it makes everything feel so professional and real, it makes it feel like very epic. Um, and I just, I really love the, the introductions that all of them have. I really loved it in the anime for, um, for Krasno versus Hirotori, so I like that, the line where everyone is just introduced and they're like, this is the ace of Krasno, this is the captain, this is this person, this person. Um, I really, really like it. Um, and I like the little statistics as well, um, of it, uh, when you have, like, Krasno, this is, uh, Krasno's ninth time at, uh, the national stage. Um, and it's the first time in five years, and uh, for Nekoma, it's their 11th time, and it's the first time also in five years, so I, I really like those little inclusions as well. Um, and the little statistics, like uh, Hinata may be the smallest middle blogger in this tournament, but he sure can jump and stuff like that. It was just, I thought the entire build-up was really cool, and then we got to see the first rally, um, which was really long. It, I think that really shows how much each of them want to win because this is just the first point they're fighting for and obviously whoever gets the first point gets like the advantage from their beginning but it just it shows how much they really fight for this. I, I really love it. And then with the... There was a lot of flashback but I really liked that they included the flashback where uh, Hinata and um, Kenma first met and how their friendship evolved and their relationship to volleyball and each other evolved. Um, and I just, I really like Kenma's expression by the end, when you, we, we finish the flashback where Hinata tells him that they're gonna, when, when they fight against each other in that, uh, when you lose it's game over fight, he's gonna make Kenma say something other than, oh, well, I guess it's alright or whatever it is. Um, <laughs> and I, I really love Kenma's expression because he's really getting into it. Um, I just, I, I really love it. I think this fight is going to be very exciting because we know both teams. So uh, with Inarasaki was mostly like, oh, how we're going to overcome them. With this, it's 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 going to be much more interesting because you can root for both teams. Like I just said, I'm rooting for Nekoma. Um, like, obviously, I do love Krasno, but just from a story perspective and for, from what I want from the story, I'm going to root for Nekoma. Um, still gonna be sad if either of them loses, like, <laughs> there's no two ways about that, but I just, I really love, um, that we're getting this, this early. 
I don't even know if it started. I do not recall when this arc started. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited. Um, and I just, I really love how everything just feels, it feels so right with this match and I'm very, very excited. Um, I don't actually know how much I have to say about this, I just thought it was really cool. I thought there was the perfect beginning to the match, just having the origin story of why this match has such a, like, historical, um, value and why it's also important for the current members who are there, like, they, they, uh not reinvented but they revived the rivalry between the two schools who had this long history of a rivalry and they formed this very interesting bond they had lots of training matches together um and there's also of course the like there's the they both have two different waves of momentum they're riding on which is Karasno have defeated like two schools who were favorites to make it really far both Shio Torisawa and Hironosaki but Karasno, not Karasno, and Nekoma has the upper hand in that they've literally never lost to Karasno ever. Um, so it's really interesting. I think they there's they seem both very much on equal footing. I did last time I did make uh, my argument for why I think just logically it would make more sense for Nekoma to win, but obviously again I'm biased because that's who I want to win. Um, and I know a lot of you want something else. But again, we we talked about this before. There's no need to go down the road again. Uh, but I just, I really enjoyed these two chapters, um, and I, I really like that little inclusion of having, um, the Nekuma, uh, some people from the Nekuma High School come cheer for them, especially with the little comment that one girl made where she was like, oh, that's Kosumu Kenma. I didn't see him as, like, the athletic type, I, I mean, I don't think I've even seen him run, and it's just, like, Kenma's one of their best players. While, yes, she's tried, to, he may not be the most athletic type, but he's still, like, such a core part of their team. Um, so I really like that little inclusion because it, it, it brings back those memories of uh, people when no one knew about uh, Kagiyama and Hinata and now it's just like the outsider of like the classic they're underestimating them and they're gonna be so surprised when they see that the person they underestimate are just so good um, and th that's just such a classic that I love every single time it's used because um, <laughs> uh, that makes you feel proud of the characters um, so yeah uh, I think that's what I have to say about how cute. Um, in case you haven't heard from the other million videos I've made the past two days, um, I'm gonna make my next bunch of reviews um, on the Monday of the official release instead of the when the scanlation comes out because I am in Italy next week, so obviously no videos. Um, but I'm still gonna try to uh, be better at making these videos more or less on time because I've been really bad lately like a lot of especially with the Haiku ones I've kind of missed two, two or three in a row and just been really bad at it um but I'll see if I, I'm <laughs> hopefully I'll be a little better with managing my time and just like seeing when I have time for everything so I can make time to do these things because uh, I do I said this before I really enjoy doing this especially Haiku I really enjoy speaking about Haiku <laughs> um and this is, this is also making me crave like a fourth season like I feel like there should be enough material in the manga now to work with but you know just I need it so badly uh, anyway um, you can leave a like you can leave a comment and you can subscribe and until next time bye